okay so this is the data set okay so this is the uh, Terra net evapotranspiration 8 day global so you can see about that it's a uh, et means the total evapotranspiration okay so this data set i want to use in the python and then further i want to make the map or other things so first of all this data set i want to import in the python so how i can import this data set for evapotranspiration data set how i can import so just simply copy this art in the snippet so this is the unique id simply copy and then paste on your in here so simply paste then i just give a variable name suppose i put the variable name is that a data set okay so now this is my net evapotranspiration data set i simply import and then i give a variable name okay so in this time hard is not need just i simply take a variable name data set and then put this image collection okay so in this image collection you can see this image collection have different types of band the one band name is the et another is the le or pet so different types of band we can easily find out in here so i want to work for suppose et mainly it's a total evapotranspiration i want to use and then further i want to make the math and also analysis just simply copy the et and then uh, i use a function suppose select function select this band name okay so this is my band name from this image collection i select this specific band okay and further suppose here you can see this data set is available from year of 2000 21 to 2024 so this time period this data set is available this data set is available between this time period suppose i want to make this map for only for the specific time period suppose on, only for a specific uh, year or a specific season it can be uh, any time period i will simply choose in from here so for doing these things So for doing these things i simply use a function this function called the filter date function okay and i put the time period suppose year of 2023 suppose first january from year of 2023 december 31 okay so this is my time period so i run the code so now here it will be loaded and now i want to check how many images are available between this time period i want to check it how many images are available between this time period so for that i just simply use a function print function print this data set and then i use a function size function i simply put in here so now it computing how many images are available so here again so we can get this type of result so it show about that image collection loaded so year of 2000 uh, first january december we can get this type of imagery in here so here you can see e dot number uh, collection size we can get it so all of details we can easily get it from here and we choose here the important expression band in here so this is our image collection okay so this image collection i want to visualize suppose i want to visualize this image collection for doing these things i just use a layer so map dot add layer and call this data set simply copy and paste here okay click to the run okay it now you can see how we can get this map in here okay in the evapotranspiration map is loaded in here okay we can get this map in here you can see as a gray scale color okay and then we can get the as a gray scale color we can easily get this map so i want to visualize this map in the lower side in the below of the map dot add layer so for that you can simply use a map simply use at the map and click the run so now it show on the lower you can see we can get the lower map we can get this type of map so now we are just try to add the color okay suppose i want to add the colorful map 
So adding the color to the map, if we want to subset our area, we need to again load the shape file or something? Yes, yes, yes. So, so I will discuss later about that. So first of all, I try to make the full world evapotranspiration map, then I just click with our shape file boundary. So now, here you can see, I just try to add here the specific color. So here you can already have some color. I simply copy this color code. Okay, just simply copy the color code. And then, um, suppose I just paste here, just take the new cell and paste here. Okay, so now in this time, var is not need because var is need only for the JavaScript. Okay. So now here you can see and all of things we are just put at this quotation it also need for the quotation also quotation okay so now this is our variable name i simply copy the variable name and paste after the object name okay so now click the run again Okay, okay, just okay. We'll run, we'll run this code again. Then we are just run the code. Now it will be white. So now it will be set with this color. Again, yeah, so you can get this type of color. Okay, so now here you can see you can easily get the idea, uh, idea where we can find out that uh, high evapotranspiration value in the world. So basically, here you can see this type of region is the high evapotranspiration. Also, this is the green color identify about that high. And you can see some region have there is no data. Suppose you can see this is the desert, so there is no uh, activities for that evapotranspiration. So that's why it show about the blank. You can see it's a blank. So also you can see it's a blank. There is no data. So it means that there is no data between this time. Also you can see about that. Okay. So there is no data about that because there is no trees. Okay. So evapotranspiration is only occurred for the trees so that's why you can get this type of visualization of map so here you can see you can get this type of map so it's a layer also you can see about that this is the layer so different types of layer here you can see we can get this type of layer for that open state layer or or so different types of layer you can also put the layer name also that it will be more better for visualization suppose here you can see when i just put the layer name so just i put a layer name i put the layer name uh, suppose uh, as a et or evapotranspiration you can put any name suppose evapotranspiration so run it so now it also loaded and we can get the layer name as the evapotranspiration so here you can see it loaded the layer name evapotranspiration you can get it okay so you can see you can get the evapotranspiration layer so this is our evapotranspiration layer we can get it so here you can see you can get this type of things so this is our evapotranspiration map we can easily create but i want to work for the specific boundary okay so now how i can work with that so for that you can easily uh, import your shape file from art engine code editor here you can see we already have asset okay in the cloud asset here you can see this is my cloud asset i define in the code editor okay in the code editor i already define the cloud asset so now this cloud asset i can easily call okay suppose um here you can see in in this in this cloud asset I state this type of shape file so I want to work for this shape file. Just click on here. So this shape file I can simply work with that. So here you can see this shape file I simply import in my code editor. And further I simply click on here. So now I can get this type of code. I simply copy this code. Okay, just simply copy. And then I uh, I just take a variable name, take the new cell and paste this code. Okay, suppose I put this variable name as a you can put any name as a variable. I put the variable name suppose ROI. So now this ROI is my shape file variable name. 
and this is the shape file okay it is stored in here so further what can i do i just simply use a clip function okay and before the clip function i want to calculate the average suppose between this time i want to calculate the average evaporative transpiration for bangladesh boundary so for that i just simply use a code in here use a mean function so basically it calculate the average pixel of evaporative transpiration and further it clip with my study area my shape variable name is roi so now click the run so now it show the result okay i think some problem what's the problem okay roi is not defined so because you can see i just paste i don't run the code so just click to run the code again after pasting and then i just click on here again so now it also loaded for my only for my bounded okay so now i just reload this map again so now we can get this uh, shape file only for our static area okay so we can get the map in here just to simply zoom this map it will be loaded at some time so here you can see just assembly when the when state map and also my map so here you can see it loaded this type of keep up expression map in bangladesh okay in year of 2023 you can see here some part is not no data suppose here you can see about that there is no data also you can see that is no data so it means that there is no evapotranspiration activities due to the less vegetation also you can see in the thaka okay also there is uh, no data because they are the totally uh, build up or settlement area okay also you can see the river or water body river okay so you can get this type of keep up map in here Okay, so any any question, please. Um, um, yeah, the hotelier is fine. Okay, okay. So I will send you this type of all of yeah. code, so you can really practice later. And further, please any problem? Yeah, yeah. It's a guiding. So, uh, uh, Simon, I have uh, you know, 